Hello and welcome back to the Fire Burns Within channel. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. As usual, going for my Sunday walk. It's very quiet today. Very, very quiet. Not many people about at all. The weather is nice. It's mild. It's not. It's overcast. You can see there's the sun hit behind the clouds. It's overcast, but it's it's nice for a walk. It's not chilly at all. It's about 21, 21 degrees, maybe 20, 21, 22, possibly if, if the clouds move away. But with the clouds, it's just mild, nice. And I'm walking, do a little bit of shopping, but I always record a video on Sunday. However, I've got nothing to review. There's been nothing released this weekend on Friday or whenever that I really wanted to review. I mean, I'm, I've checked, I've checked up and down thinking, well, do I want to review that? It's not really my cup of tea. So I haven't reviewed anything. This video is just me rambling on about what's to come. This August is going to be, it's going to be more quiet than July can't see more than four or five releases that are really worth my time in August. Obviously, one or two things might turn up. You never know. I like to dig deep and find one or two things. But, um, I mean, at the moment, I've got Hammerfall, which is next weekend. Hammerfall is always good, you know. True heavy metal, power metal. It's always good. Although... I must admit, the single that they released somewhat bored me. Incredibly, speaking as a big Hammerfall fan, I was a little bit, eh, you know, whatever. It's not, it sounds like Hammerfall, but it didn't do anything for me. Unlike the Power Wolf songs, which just do things for me. But the Hammerfall was like, eh, yeah, whatever. Dark Tranquility, the following weekend. That's sounding good. That is sounding good. The singles I've enjoyed. I'm an old time Dark Tranquility fan. Right back from the Mind's Eye era. And also the gallery before that. Awesome melodic death metal. And Michael Stanner, he's one of the best voices in melodic death metal. And he's got all these other projects as well. <laughs> Ton of other projects. Then you got All For Metal a bit later on in the month. Cheesy True Power Metal. I loved their last album. <laughs> I loved it. Looking forward to that. It's called Gods of Metal. So you got metal in the name and metal in the song title. That's good. <laughs> then you've got Winter Sun Time 2. It's, is it really happening? Is it really going to be released? I'm an old school Winter Sun fan. I love the debut album. It's one of the best melodic death metal albums of all time. I love that one. Then you've got Invasion, Invasion 2. I love the debut album from Invasion. Norwegian, melodic, hard rock slash heavy metal. Let's see what this one brings. And then right at the end of the month, you've got Nighthawk and Vampire Blues. Nighthawk is the project set up by Speed Street of... Night Flight Orchestra and of course Soil Work. This one is sort of similar to Night Flight, but even more, I don't know how to say, it, even more AOR sounding, even more 70s sounding even. So I love the debut album. So I'm expecting good things from this uh, Nighthawk, but look, look, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six albums for the rest of the month in August that I'm going to definitely have a full listen to I mean there might be one or two I might give a little listen to but if I listen a couple of songs and I see it's not me I just bail out uh, <laughs> it doesn't get to get it doesn't get for a full review and there'll be no mention of it on the channel so you won't even know that I've listened to them but that's how it is. And then I just had a quick look of what else there is for the rest of the year. There's quite a few nice things, but there's not loads. There's not loads. 
there's one main, main thing which I'll be all over like a bad rash, which is the Eclipse album Megalomania 2. Megalomanium, sorry, give it the proper name. 2, the unexpected album. No one expected it, and it's, yeah. It's going to be awesome, obviously. I, I just, Eclipse is, Eclipse is running in my blood. It's running in my blood. Anything Eric Martinson does is running in my blood. So I'll be all over that like a bad rash. I think it's in, I don't know, September or October, sometime like that. Then you got Flotsam and Jetsam's new album. Kings of Melodic Thrash. Last album was wicked. The new album sounds ferocious. The single is just ball-bustingly heavy. Although, I must admit, it didn't really catch my ear as an earworm, but the quality and the pounding and the ah, Eric AK on vocals sounds like a man possessed. Uh, then you got Windrose, Italian dwarf metal, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Dragony, Austrian power metal band. Well, are they, are they Austrian? I forget. <laughs> Maybe they're, I don't know, somewhere around there anyway. They, they, they just released the lead single. It's really good. It's really fun. Melodic power metal. Then you got Astral Doors. This is a surprise. Astral Doors is back after well, a long time away. I used to swear by Astral Doors. I adore their early albums, Astral Doors. They've sort of weakened off a little bit, you know, they've, I don't know, they've just got, I mean, I like samey stuff, but they've got a little too samey and uh, vocalist MPJ or Niels Patrick Johansson to give his full name. I used to love him, but he's sort of slightly, his vocals have gotten slightly grating as he's gotten older. He's sort of got this screamy edge that gets a little bit too much. I adored his early vocals. He was the full Dio, Dio, what do you call it? Stand-in or, you know, the one who takes over from Dio. There is a word for it. Uh, but anyway, they're back. Then you got Grand Magus or Magus. I don't know how you want to pronounce the, the second part. Grand Magus. I've heard people say Grand Magus, Grand Magus. I say Grand Magus, but I guess it could be Magus. I've seen them live. They're awesome. Heavy metal with a slight doom tinge, which I'm not a doom guy, so that part of it is not for me. But when they do the Man of War chest beating stuff, I'm there. They have released a single. I haven't heard it yet. I've sort of. I don't know, I saw it's got released, but I sort of didn't want to listen to it for whatever reason. I should rectify that. And then you got Brothers of Metal releasing later on in the year sometime, I don't know. I love Brothers of Metal, I love their style. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, Viking, folky, power metal, let's call it. Viking, folky, heavy metal, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely got the Viking angle because they're Swedes, I believe. Uh, it's going to be fun, that one, but the rest of the year is not filled with huge numbers of things to look forward to, but it's going to be some great albums to come, mainly The Eclipse, which I'm going to be all over, obviously. And August, like I said, four, five, six, four, five, six things, maybe. Maybe a few little bits might pop up that are way underground and... I might listen to them. But I've just walked the, the entire length of the park on my way to uh, do some shopping. And here I am doing the video. It's just on 10 minutes, coming up to 10 minutes, rambling on. All right, latest.